Okay, welcome back to another episode of Training and Sea on location at the beautiful Shaw, Shaw, Creek. Shaw Creek. Yeah, so just showing you some of what uh, beautiful BC has to offer. Mm -hmm. uh, you'll have to excuse the dimness of the lighting because we don't have uh, any lighting. Yeah, it's just natural here right now. So right. we got a Strathyla 12 year old. Um, so stick around and find out what we think. Okay, why don't you open that sure. box? Um, so this is a this is a viewer request from Pradeep. So Pradeep, thanks for reaching out to us. Yeah, excellent. Thank you. It's a it's a nice bottle. It's a nice presentation. Uh, as you know, here we do color, uh, nose, taste, finish, and viscosity. So just gonna move this box out of the sure. way. Sure. Cool. Go. And shall I pour? You shall. So this is the Strath Isla 12 year old. It is a Speyside single malt. Yep. Bottled at 40%. Mm -hmm. And this is actually a reasonable price here in BC. Yeah. Which you don't find too often for especially 12 year olds. Um, but yeah, so I think we might as well get right into it. So as far as the uh, as far as the situation with color added and non-chill filter, um, I believe color has been added yeah, and it's been filtered. Yeah, there's nothing saying it on the bottle or the box, so got to assume that it's not natural color or chill filtration. Put it up a little closer and hope that rock doesn't fall over. Ah. Whew. Little dangerous on a rocky riverbank. Yeah. We're just improving here. And yes, we always go camping with um, Glen carrying glasses and, and <laughs> bottles of scotch. Absolutely. We wouldn't be camping without it here in BC. So, uh, color. So right away, obviously, because it's probably not natural, uh, you know, it, it's it's still nice. It's got that amber plus one or two. Yeah, a little copper orangish kind of thing going on there. Yep. So it's a it's a decent color. Not bad at all. Nothing. A little bit of tan added to it. But that's yeah. okay. Nothing amazing. <laughs> okay, let's uh, have a smell. Mm. To me, this is it does smell like that classic sherry, semi sherried mm -hmm. Speyside uh, nose. It's got um. I actually got a little bit of um, a black licorice, a little bit of an absent uh, nose on it the first time I smelt it. That was kind of the first thing. I was like, oh, that's a little black licorice. -y. Yeah, it's got that aniseed kind of thing yeah. to it. Uh, it's also got the kind of uh, the hayfield smell to yeah. it. It's got a bit of a honey sweetness, some pear. Some pear. There's some a little fruit. bit of, little bit of uh, like green fruit kind of smell to mm. it. Should we just get right into the Yeah, let's do it probably going to be a bit of a quicker video just because we're on location here and we don't want any bears sneaking up on us so mm -hmm. mm. Mm. so on first taste it does the, there is a sweet arrival it does have a little bit of that um aluminum tinge to it i find but it, it's quite malty and nice i almost get a bit of a um a nuttiness to it as well but yep. i'm not sure like maybe uh not, not the walnut or almond that you get off of most bourbons, but Maybe it's like a bit a, of a, a nutty, cashew yeah, sure, sort of thing. Not, sure. Like sure. <laughs> cashews. Why not? Let's call it cashews. Mm. It does have like a, this kind of like a buttercream <laughs> taste to <laughs> it too. <laughs> Strong. <laughs> Got my nose right in there. Yeah, good, good. So again, slightly herbal. It is. Slightly it does herbal. it does kind of have that a little bit of a, a highland flavor to it mm -hmm. where the highlands usually have that kind of herbal thing going on. Mm -hmm. And so this is kind of a nice mix between that Honey lemon, but with a little bit of like that sage grass, even that lemon sage. I wonder if they're even going to be able to hear us with this water running behind us. Hopefully. Even if you can't hear it, we're going to subtitle this thing and put <laughs> yeah. it up. Yeah. So finish. So I, I just got to say oh. one thing. I do find, even though this is 12 years old, it would, I feel like this would do better at a 15 year. Mm. A couple more years in the barrel mm -hmm. would do wonders with this guy. <laughs> but yeah. Nice, it's nice. The finish is a bit warm. I get a zesty citrus on the finish. Mm -hmm. Yeah. A little bit of a... Um, it lingers. Warmth on the back of the throat. Yep. A little heat to it. Yep. Quite nice. Um, again, you can't go wrong too much for the price and it being... At least it has an age statement, so that's really nice. Yeah. So again, thank you Pradeep for uh, recommending this. Yeah, it's a good, good scotch for us to review. Not, not bad at all for bringing camping. Um, so viscosity, 
a little thin, a little light. Yeah, yeah, I think that kind of comes from the the uh, chill filtration. Right. It strips out some of those natural oils and yeah. the thickness, and it is syrupy on the side of the glass, but. Yeah, it's, it's nice. I think it's a good one. Um, so we came actually this time to a unanimous decision of our scoring, and our scoring is twenty-four. Twenty-four out even. Of Thirty-three point three three. So, so yeah, yeah, it's decent. Um, I want to mention I'm not going to do it right now, but when I did sample it earlier and I uh, added water to it, the nose becomes a bit fruity and the taste mellows a little bit. Yeah, so, it rounds it up. Yeah, it. Nice. Uh, Makes a, a marked improvement, but still very good on its own. We could add the Shaw Creek water and it would be just fine, but maybe, maybe of, next time. You want to get beaver fever. Yeah, that's right. All right, well, thanks for watching Training and See. You are on location. Hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you next time for a more normal video. Excellent. Cheers. Cheers.